In this video, I will discuss about this question I accidentally found on Reddit. Someone has asked this question whether he should take up an offer at a quant trading firm or should he go for investment banking. So he is confused between career in investment banking with career in quantitative finance. Which one is better? And he has you know, mentioned about his own situation. He's got uh, a 300k offer from a quant trading firm, but he's also interested in investment banking. So he would like to know as to what's better, whether it's investment banking or it's quantitative trading, which one is better. This is not the first time I have come across such questions. I have also come across questions where people have compared quantitative finance which is a very technical role with more front office roles like doing proper trading or uh, working on uh, areas uh, working in areas which are considered customer facing uh, you know where you will be facing customers directly right it's again it's it's uh, an apple to orange comparison it's not uh, a fair comparison a quant finance role is is more of a research role where you will most likely not discuss, uh, you will not talk to clients directly, you are not going to be uh, responsible for managing relationship with clients and so on. Although things are changing a bit, it's definitely a role where there is a PNL impact, especially in quant trading profiles, but not all quant finance profiles um, have PNL impact, so you don't have PNL impact in many areas of quant finance. So it depends on number of things. So you cannot just say which one is better. Um, but there are things to keep in mind while choosing a career. There are a number of things to take into account. For example, your expertise, your area of interest, what you want to do for a long time. So it's not just about spending a couple of years, right? In fact, that's exactly what many people have also responded uh, in the answer section. People have you know, mentioned about, okay, go for the quant trading one because it really pays well. In investment banking, you don't really make much initially. And that's true, right? Even after, uh, you know, even after having done an MBA from Harvard Business School or from top business schools, the guys at investment banking firm don't make great money initially at least a couple of years once they become vice president and above that's when they start making great good money but as quants it's quite likely that you will be making quite good money from from the year one but then it's difficult to also obviously get a, a job in quant trading firm compared to that in investment banking i mean people might dispute that but for quant trading the competition is even probably higher right and the qualification especially at top-notch trading firm is not just about academic qualification it's also about many other things for example your coding skills your ability to solve problems quickly your knowledge of finance uh, your interest in trading and so on and so forth whereas in investment banking if you are from a top-notch business school quite likely you will get a chance to work at large uh, investment bank right so totally different career track so comparing both makes very little sense in my view. If I if I confused between quant finance, which is a very technical role, and investment banking, which is a more front office type role, then to me I think you are not cut out. You are not cut out for a technical uh, job because if someone is interested in technical in a technical career, he is quite sure that he is going to do that for you know for uh, for a long time in his career. And if you're not sure about that, you're still confused, I, I think then you should simply not go for, uh, you know, the, the career in quantitative finance, because that's where you have to read, write and, and, and do a lot of research, work, a lot of heavy technical work, whereas in investment banking, it's a lot different, right? You'll be specializing in a, in a sector and you'll then be consulting uh, clients and, and doing activities related to merger acquisitions and, and, and a lot of uh, other sort of host of activities which is about interacting with the people you know it so even even the personality right um, people who will do well in investment banking they may not do well in quantitative uh, trading research that kind of a profile and the other way around 
people who may be really good at research and uh, people who are, can really find alpha uh, through their research may not be good at let's say talking to clients and finding deals in an investment banking role uh, so it's totally a different skill set i would say but there are some people who are really good at both right the you know bright mathematics graduates they can write code but they are also good at talking they can uh, do business they can uh, they see themselves as front office people people who actually bring bridge business you know if you have that kind of uh, a portion then i would say think long term short term uh, gains may not um, always be great even though the investment banking roles probably pay less and if you see yourself as an investment banker long term at least for 10 to 20 years then i, I would say go for that but if you show yourself as a research person someone who likes to think and read and and do research write code test your algorithm if that's what excite you i would say quant trading is is or for that matter any quant role is better right regarding quant roles in other forms right at top forms like you know the two sigma and citadel and those uh, top notch quant trading firms obviously you know the salaries are quite great and the perks are amazing growth is also good but then not everybody will be able to get into those jobs right uh, many people uh, will have to settle for uh, you know the boutique trading firms not the large trading firms and some people may even have to work for banks where you know the salaries are not in like 200k or 300k starting out you should be making good money but it's not as great as what you would be making at trading firms so in those profiles the salaries are also not that bad i mean you will be making 70 80 even 100k or even more in some profiles and that's not at all a bad salary to start your career and the career growth is actually quite good i mean in about 4 5 years time you would probably be making more than 200k and career is more stable in a way Uh, so even that is quite uh, a good career so again <clears throat> it's about uh, comparing completely to uh, different uh, career paths uh, i would i have seen people who have worked as investment banker um, changing the career and working as a quant but i haven't seen the other way around right people who have worked as uh, quants early in their career i haven't seen many moving to investment bank later on but the other way around that has happened when i was working in london i, I had a few colleagues who started as investment bankers at you know uh, large uh, investment banks out of london worked there for a couple of years didn't like it then moved to uh, risk management quantitative area and then they were they were relatively happy in those roles so it's again it's it's about your situation what you like what you dislike there's no one size fit all rule it entirely depends on your own own interest but if you are a technical person if you have strong interest in research go for quant finance and if you are more of a business guy then prefer investment banking but there is nothing no right or wrong answer Uh, you can always uh, rethink about a career later on in your life if when you are starting out you should not think much just go for it give yourself some time and then you will realize whether you like it or not and then you can you know do something else if you don't like it you know for experienced professionals i think it's it's a bigger challenge if you want to move your career if you change your career but for fresh out of university graduates i think it's not too big a problem if you give yourself uh, if you you can do experiments you can challenge yourself and and see if you like something if you don't like just quit and do something else in life all right